Hi, Bobar from Polygon here. In this video, we're going to take a look how to properly make use of polygon materials in SolidWorks Visualize. Before we get started, let's take a look at the materials that we're going to be using, or the material. Uh, it's this one, Wood Flooring 044. Uh, it's one of our free materials, so feel free to download so you can follow along. Um, but yeah, let's head over to SolidWorks Visualize. Okay, so this is the scene that we'll be working in. Um, it's very simple, it's just a plane. Um, with a default HDR lighting in the background and that's literally it. So yeah, let's get started. Um, first of all, click on the iRay renderer there, the little yellow icon, um, and that will uh, just make sure we can preview our material. And then head over to the Appearances tab and add in a new appearance. Good. And then we'll jump over to General and give it a name. In this case, Wood Flooring 044. And then I'm going to change the appearance type to be a PBR material. Now, at Polygon, we use two different types of workflows uh, for our PBR uh, materials. Um, one being metallic roughness and one being specular glossy, both of which are supported by the uh, by the software here, which is great. Now, the majority of our materials, um, basically anything that isn't a metal, we only offer in specular glossiness. So, we're actually going to select that one um, for demonstrating this wooden floor and um, but if you're downloading one of the metals you have the option of downloading and um, the metal roughness workflow uh, and I, I'd recommend doing that as well because uh, for metallics it works brilliantly anyway now we have that inputted we can jump over to our texture panel here and load in the textures themselves so I'm going to click on the color map first of all hit open and then you'll get this prompt which is a great little feature where the software will attempt to bring in the maps for you um, you can see here it's suggesting the normal map for a bump, the gloss map for glossiness, and the reflection map for specular, which is almost correct for what we want it to do. So let's hit yes. The only thing I'm gonna do is actually remove the reflection texture because um, our reflection textures basically need to be inverted um, for them to be specular maps. And you can do that. You could go into Photoshop, invert the um, reflection texture, save it as specular, and then load that in instead. Um, but the, it makes such a small difference in most cases, it's probably not worth it. Um, if you're on a, on a specific material, you think you might benefit from having that extra specular value, then by all means go ahead. But in uh, in, in this case, I'm just going to remove the map and just work off the glossiness, which, uh, which works fine. So now we've done that, I'm gonna jump over to the uh, bump map, make sure that that's being used correctly. Yep, it's already got treat as normal map selected, good. Uh, so yeah, let's drag the material and place it on our floor. And straight off, it's not looking too bad at all. One thing we do need to do though, is make some manual adjustments to the gloss map. Um, we would typically, uh, in some uh, 3D applications, we'd opt for bringing the glossiness map in using a, a linear workflow. Uh, as it's called, and basically with a gamma value of one. Uh, we don't have that option here, but it's not, uh, it's certainly not a deal breaker. It's just a matter of making a slight manual tweak to the brightness. So if we up that to say a value of, let's try, ah, hold on, sorry. You need to, <laughs> you need to tick the blend texture button before this slider will do anything. Uh, and let's try a manual value of two. Yeah. Okay. Now I think by default, you know, in another application, it would actually look more like that. But what I would normally do at that stage is suggest making a slight adjustment to make it look a bit shinier. Uh, but since we're doing that anyway here, I'm just going to do it directly. Um, and there we go. So just get basically it's an eyeballing thing. You're just going to have to uh, adjust the gloss map to suit the material and to suit your your needs for it and in this case I want a really shiny floor and uh, yeah that's pretty much it that's how you set up the uh, the basic material so in summary we've downloaded a material from polygon.com brought it into SolidWorks Visualize um, we've made some minor adjustments to the gloss map to make it suit the uh, the look that we're after and I also removed the reflection map from the specular as it wasn't required 